Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Do you use ePlan Pro Panel to design your panel layout in 3D? Then you may come across the question how to export step files out of ePlan so you can import it in your 3D mechanical software. Maybe you are a machine builder and would like to know does my panel fit into my machine? Or you would like to use machine cabling functionalities like the software Harness Pro D. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the scheme, how to export step files out of ePlan. All right. We are here in ePlan Pro Panel and we have designed uh, enclosure. And now we would like to talk about how to export this enclosure as a step file to utilize it afterwards in mechanical software, right? So if you are done with the design in ePlan Pro Panel, you can easily go here to File, Export, Layout Space, and there is a step button which you can select in order to trigger the export setting. Here, you can confirm what is the source, right? That means what is your current selection, which scheme are you utilizing, and where you are saving uh, the step file. Lastly, you have applied to enter a project. That's a known functionality if you would like to export all enclosures out of the whole project instead of just the selected enclosure. For us, we are happy with the current selection. And we will now take a deep look into the uh, scheme uh, to see what type of setting we can actually do in ePlan. So for this, we are selecting the three dot button. And here, before we are talking about the scheme, what we need to know, the step export setting is a user setting, right? It, that means every ePlan user could, in theory, create their own scheme. If you would like to share it between all of the users, so you have a master data creator who uh, creates all of the templates and settings, then you could, for instance, export it and import it in the individual users or in the individual computers. Okay, let's talk now about the settings. First of all, there is the output directory, which is pretty self-explaining. Where would you like to save the step file? Then you have general file names. You have three types of possibilities for the file name. One is a consecutive number. It, it starts with one and then it just increase. Uh, layout space name is the default setting. That means the export file will be called as the layout space. And then you have from properties. That means if you would like to set up the name individually by properties, you could select from properties and this will guide you then with the three dot button here. And here out of the known properties you could configure the name for us we will just use here from layout space and for for the format version of the step file it when supports the two most known step file formats AP203 and AP214 by default the setting should look something like this where only external representation of the enclosure is activated, as well as separate export per enclosure and the simplified representation is active. So the first selection, only external representation of the enclosure is very useful if you would like just to export the enclosure out of ProPanel and import it in the mechanical software as a placeholder. So you just need the silhouette of the enclosure, but don't care about the life inside right you don't care about the placement of the components on the mounting panel for instance the benefit of this is the step file will be relatively smaller than if you would have a full-blown mounting panel plus the routing connection and auxiliary components separate export per enclosure means if you would have multiple enclosures selected would you like to have one one step export file or would you have multiple files for each enclosure and own one? And then you have export auxiliary elements. Export auxiliary elements give you the possibility to display also in the export additionally surfaces 
or routing paths or drilling cutouts and so on. I will blend in the list what, what is considered an auxiliary element. Then uh, lastly, we have here export routing connections. Export routing connections will export the wires out of uh, ePlan Pro panel, which you used in the routing and production element. Here is obviously important to know there is no uh, electrical logic exported. It's just a graphical representation of the wires uh, since the step is a mechanical export. And then lastly, we have here simplified representation which is very uh, important. If you have this active, then terminal strips and 3D macros will be represented as blocks. If not, they will be represented as you see them in Pro Panel. So for instance, just to show you, if you have simplified representation active, then in the export would look like if you would active simplified representation, that means the components will be displayed as blocks. If you don't have simplified representation active, then the export will look like this. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you found the content beneficial, please make sure to like, subscribe to your channel, and share in your community. We're reaching almost 500 subscribers. A big shout out to all of you. Also, please let me know in the comments below what other topics you would like to see on the Implant Essentials channel. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.